If only you'd been drunk. Roaring drunk. I had to hit him. Now, either you understand that, or you can believe I'm an animal. It was as if you hated each other. So? Do you hate my father? Oh, what's it matter? He hates me. No, he doesn't. He's scared and he's mad and he's been way out of line. But what's behind it is love. Not for me, baby. Not for me. How come I can love both of you so much? And you can't even be in the same room with each other. All I know is that's how it is. So where does that leave us? You tell me. Well, I'm not choosing between you because I don't have to. Jack, he'll give a little if you will. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> we'll shake hands and then we'll come out fighting. If I get it, he'll never change. Then you change. How do I do that, Mary? How do I turn into a grinning, jig-dancing boy or son-in-law he likes? Well, huh? Come on, you For tell starters, me. For you can stop goading him. All that talk about me respecting authority too much to be a good reporter? I just want him to think a little bit you about... You wanted to make him burn, suggesting I'd use a congressional primary to push Frank's candidacy. You wanted to see him explode. I felt like speaking my mind for a change. I never realized you meant to insult me. I figured it was all part of baiting die. I was wrong about that, huh? No. No, no, you weren't. Uh, you have the makings of a, a first-rate, hard-nosed, impartial newsman. News person. Okay? Ah, oh, Jack, why wouldn't you let up on him tonight? He was all set to make peace. Look, I was with him for almost an hour before you came in. He was anything but peaceful. Oh, well, what did he do? What did he do? What did he do? He did what he always does. Oh, don't give me that. Bob said you arrived in a foul mood with a huge chip on your shoulder. Oh, you had Detective Reed's report. Well, it's huh? true, isn't it? Oh, well, maybe you should be talking to Bob instead of to me, huh? I mean, was he wired for sound? I mean, did he take everything I no. said, play it back for you? No, but he told me how you were acting, and I'll bet it's exactly how you are now. Obnoxious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right, that's right, because I felt mean. You want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because I didn't want to go to Ryan's for a nice, cozy drink. Oh, I see. Not even to celebrate my first time on television? Not even to celebrate your first trip to the moon. Nice. Real nice. Mary, your family and I do not mix. No more celebrations for me. Not with them. They're always a disaster. I was a fool to let you talk me into trying one more time. I was happy. I wanted to share it with you. Yeah, well, you didn't. You shared with everybody at the bar, including your relatives. Oh, come on. Jack Dow was the only relative yeah, well, there. Yeah, well, sure. Well, he's the only one who throws punches. You brought the fight on yourself. You pretty much admitted that already. All I admitted is I can't stay in the same room with your father. No, I knew I should have stayed home. Rode all the way up to Riverside knowing it was going to be bad. Knowing? Or hoping, Jack? Oh, I get it. You made sure it would be so bad that you would never expect me to count on you with my father and my family again. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I planned the whole thing. You did it on purpose, didn't you? Yeah. He told stupid Mary a lesson. Because when Jack doesn't get his own way, he can be very nasty. We have stuck with the help already. The real mistake I made was in letting you have your way. It was against my better judgment to go anywhere near your father. But you pushed, and I gave in. All I wanted was for us to be together. With your father. And that's asking too much? Yes. Jack. I just can't seem to find any answers. Nothing's coming clear for me. The more we talk, the worse I feel. I'm sorry. Can't you just try talking to Da, huh? Tell him you're sorry like you just told me. I'm not you know sorry. I fought back tonight. Mary, please stop begging me to do what you want. I won't talk to your father. I won't sit around Ryan's drinking his Irish whiskey. Mary, you got to accept that, and you got to stop pushing me. It's enough you moved in with me unexpected and unannounced. I can't meet any more demands at the moment. Well, I guess that's it. What? The solution. I thought I told you not to threaten to leave me every time I make you mad. I'm not threatening. What does that mean? I moved in unexpectedly, right? I'm moving out the same way. I didn't mean that you should go. I want you to stay. Look, the whole thing's been a big mistake. I didn't see it at first, but now I do. And maybe I'm very sorry I intruded into your life. 
Mary, Mary, please don't do this. You, you can't go home tonight. Wait until morning at least. You, you going home? No. Where then? I don't know. Yeah, you, 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 you,